Motion detected. Displaying garage camera. For a long time now, we've had these great smart home cameras and these wonderful smart home displays, but for just as long, we haven't been able to automatically show those cameras on the smart displays whenever someone's around them. That changes today. Now, I am a proud Canadian, and that doesn't mean I don't love my neighbors to the south. I do, but one of the things that has always frustrated me about those neighbors is they don't share their new features with us up here in Canada and around the world. And so a couple of the things I'm going to show you today you'll find will only work in the U.S. Now, what I've done to get around that is actually changed my account to an American account, and this is something that you can do, and it is reversible. Now, what happens in the Miss A application after you've done this is you log out, you log back in and you'll find all of the features will be available to you that are available in the US. So go ahead, try that if you want to. Otherwise, just stay tuned. You'll get these features all soon. This might be a bad assumption. And if it is, you can tell me down below in the comments. But I'm assuming that most of you can get your cameras connected to Miss A through the devices page by hitting the plus button and then choosing your device type or your camera maker and getting that connected. Because once you can do that, or once you have it connected, then you're going to be able to head into the routine section in the application. And this is how we're going to make this automatic display happen. This is a pretty simple routine we're going to create, but it's going to be so powerful for you. I'm excited to show you. Now, the first thing you're going to do is name this, and I would suggest that you name this routine something around the displaying this camera automatically on a certain smart display because you're only going to be able to choose one at a time right now or today. So that's what you're going to do and then you're going to head into the trigger section or the when this happens. Once you're inside of there you'll find the smart home option is the one you want to choose and then what you're seeing is all of your smart home devices that can be used as a trigger event to actually make this happen. Now, if you're like me, then you'll find motion sensors, contact sensors, and some cameras. Now, you might not actually see your camera here, and if you don't, then I have a couple of suggestions for you. See, there are Zigbee hubs in the new Echo devices and the old Echo Plus, the Echo Show sitting here, and the new Echo Studio, and those have the Zigbee hubs in them that you can use to connect motion sensors and contact sensors that are Zigbee. And you can set that Zigbee sensor right next to your camera. And when you do that, then it's going to be able to trigger. Now, I've made this much easier by connecting in my Samsung SmartThings hub and my Hubitat hub, and you might have another hub with motion sensors that are showing up here. Use those, set that next to your camera, and I think you'll find this to be highly reliable. So you choose either your camera or those motion or a contact sensor if you want to trigger something whenever someone enters into the room, and now you're ready to start with the action events. And the first thing that I wanted to do was announce that this had happened. So what you can pick from here is Miss A says, and that will announce it just on the single device that you're going to pick here in a second, or you can have it announced on a number of speakers. Now this is through the messaging section, and then you can make an announcement through there and pick any number of devices that you'd like. Right there, if you're like me, well, you're thinking about 2 a.m. in the morning and there's motion and you probably don't want to wake up or there's a mistake and you don't want to wake up, or maybe you're thinking you do. Whatever you want, you get to choose because number one, what you can do is make an adjustment to when this can happen. And you can see that I've kind of set my timeline in my home, but there's also this second thing that says suppress it for, I have just a minute there, but you might want to set a longer timeline because what that suppress does is it stops it from triggering every time the motion sensor or your camera sees that motion or that trigger occurs. So 
you know, in the case of a dog moving through a space, they might trigger that motion sensor every five, 10 seconds, depending on your sensor. So you probably want to use a bit of suppression here. Now, the other thing you've got to choose is which device this is going to be on. And then we're going to choose our very last action. And this is all the way at the bottom of the list of actions. It's called the customized action. And this is where you're going to put in exactly what you say to miss a, which is to show me the X camera. And when you type that in, you're going to hit enter and then you're going to save your routine and then you're going to test it just like this. Motion detected displaying garage camera. Now the crazy thing is that's a nest camera coming up on the screen and you can see how quick and effective that was. The other thing you could do if you didn't want that little okay at the end there, then you could put your echo show into a brief mode and I think that you're going to be happy with the result there. Now this is just one of the many newly added routine features that we got with Miss A. There's a ton more and you could do a ton more if you watch the video that's up on screen which will teach you how to get much more out of Miss A, your whole ecosystem, and your connected devices with routine. So go check that out. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and of course, don't hate, automate.